Alrighty, welcome back to me playing missions on easy because I like abusing attack move. We're gonna stick to, to normal speed on this one though. Um, I don't really need to do easy on this one. Apparently this one has real tough guy available to it if you so desire. One of these missions I'll probably do on real tough guy. Not this one. You'll see why I dislike that one so much soon, but for now let's go ahead and finish off the final currently available allied mission. We have a spy. Spies, when selected, you can right click on enemy units and they will take the form of that enemy unit. Like, I can be a dog if I so desire. I'm not sure how that works, but I can be a dog if I so desire. Dogs will see through spies' defenses. Which, he's very close to being dead from those dogs. I didn't realize they'd walk that far forward. It looks like they have a bit of a triangular, triangular pathway here. Unfortunately, I think I actually need to go south because. What? This is why I hate these spy-based missions, by the way. I need to get into the weapons factory, right? Infiltrate the Soviet war, war factory, sorry. The freaking mammoth thing right there. Alright, well, those dogs are in a bit of a triangle thing here. Looks like these dogs and those men walk around. Actually, these guys have left the base now. It looks like these move slower than that group as well. I'm just gonna make this awkward. Yeah, they do. Alright, it looks like this is gonna be the rotation that I'm gonna go on, and we'll see how it goes. I don't think defensive structures can see through spies. If they can, it's gonna get real awkward real fast in a second here. Right, here we go. We're off. For king and country, as he says, because all spies are British, as you know. Alright, we're in the base. We're just gonna, we're basically just gonna follow this dog's, um, patrol path here. I'll hang out down here until he runs over there. And we'll run up this way. Sneak into the war factory here. Once we sneak into the war factory, Tanya's probably gonna pop out and immediately die to a dog or something stupid, I'm sure. Oop. Something is happening. We are now a truck. And we're just inside of the truck. Two Tesla coils, a flame tower, a bunch of crap, a V2, and a bunch more V2s. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here that's gonna instantaneously kill Tanya all the time. Also, forward command building, that does nothing. For king and country. For king and country. Is he scripted to run in there automatically? Yeah, he is. Is Tanya inside of here? And then she just runs back in and blows it up for giggles. Alright, whatever. So our objective is to blow up all of these SAM sites. I have no idea how many there are because it's not like a zero of three objective. Uh, eliminate all Soviet units in the area, apparently. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that, but apparently this is an objective, so... No, really, how is... How is Tanya gonna do this? There's a dog there. All we know of this base are those flame towers on the front half there. Blow up this dog kennel, because dogs are Tanya's worst friend. Tanya is not a man, obviously. We're gonna blow up some more SAM sites, which apparently block the extraction helicopter, whatever that means. And there was actually three, good to know. So this is the extraction helicopter. So I can just leave? But those are primary objectives. Eliminate all Soviet units. What happens if I get in the helicopter? Jenna. It just leaves? Where are we going? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Well. Explains the mission slightly, I suppose. That was a terrible sound, I'd like to point out. Alright, where are my engineers? Engineers. Go stand over there.
you guys go kind of park about there-ish. My artillery buddies go up here. Because I'm going to use them to take out the flame tower and probably shoot the mammoth tank or something. Can you guys hit that from there? You can. You can't tell it's there, technically. Now, we are allies, so we get access to medium tanks. Um, unfortunately, they have access to a mammoth tank. All of its glory. Mammoth tanks are not particularly strong vehicles. Uh, and this, in Tiberian Sun, they're pretty powerful, but... Otherwise, not really. Be a bit careful with your freaking explosives there, my friend. Pull it up for me, please. Do so. You, you're not blowing a thing up, but I want to blow it. Shoot, shoot. Oh, because it's already blown up. Right, right, right. Um, I mean, I'd like to capture a thing somewhere. I have six thousand dollar dues, so capturing that would probably be a recommended strategy. Go like run over there real quick for me. Try to make sure there's nothing in this base. Please stop. Oh, see now they're doing it like they do in the skirmish. So this is how the engineers behave in skirmish. It's just like the uh, a the uh, infantry in Command and Conquer Generals. They capture buildings over time means I can capture this entire base without damaging everything, as I've already done with these engineers. So we're gonna do that. Because why not? If they give me the option, gosh darn it, then you know I'm gonna use it. Oh no, if I drive you over there, you're gonna start shooting everything. It'd be rude. I'm not building a power plant because I want to just capture this power plant. And then just build an old refinery. There's a little tiny bit of gem over there, so there might be some more down there to use, which would be nice. Low power. We have low power though, Structure so you know. I guess that's a thing. We now have the ability to repair our vehicles. We lost one vehicle. Would you stop running over my decorative fencing? Okay. I swear. Once we build that, I'll build another ore truck for giggles, basically. Tesla coils are going to be handled by my artillery buddies. We'll park over there. Mr. Doggos may as well park over here. Can you hit that from here? Good heavens, you can. Not even sure how the freaking range on these things work, but apparently it's quite the range. Construction options. There, get another one of you. Apparently this is a, a mission involving building bases, which is probably why probably why you have the tough guy option. I could capture more buildings. Is there anything else I really want to capture? Is there an objective to capture anything? No. Well, what? Where's my Where's my other engineer at? He repaired that. What did, I, what did I do with my other engineer? He's obviously not over here, he's I'm selecting buildings. I'm very confused. Let's build a bunch of heavy tanks to make myself feel better. Once those Tesla towers are down, we can pretty much just charge in there. It's just a single flame tower, which is god awful against medium tanks. And we're gonna be building uh, heavy tanks because. Interestingly enough, the Soviet War Factory gets access to heavy tanks. It's like the opposite of what most Command & Conquer games are. The Allies get lighter tanks and the uh, Soviets get heavier tanks. They also get V2 rockets. I can't build because I don't have a radar dome. V2 rockets are better than artillery. Or buildings. I mean, artillery is probably just as bad for everything else, but you know what I mean. Charge! Charge slightly less forward because you're doing some weird pathing around that way. You see what I mean? How they, they, they sort themselves out eventually. May not necessarily be the fastest, but they will sort themselves out eventually. A V2 rocket over here somewhere. There it is. Hello. There's a bunch of V2 rockets over here. I forgot about that. 
You would make me happy if we did that. Unit lost. How did you? How did you not do that? There's a war factory over there. Like a Build you. Let's put you there because it looks reasonable. Unit lost. Unit oh yeah, there's a bunch of gems over here. Get the gems. Apparently there's just one gem. Whatever. You can even build an airfield on this mission. Why did it have some of bearings? We build a flame tower, some infantry, which is probably not the worst idea I've had. I've had some pretty bad ones. Unit ready. So now we have the exact same tanks as the enemy. And these are better tanks, so. They're basically medium tanks except with two barrels, so they fire twice as much for, I believe, the same damage as a medium tank, but I'm not, not entirely sure. We're gonna do that old thing or just a tank move that way. I should really stop throwing away my vehicles, but you know how I am, you know? That was a terrible sound. You know how I be? I gotta blow up all my stuff. Can you, like, live somehow? The answer is no, so I'm just gonna sit here and lose all of my stuff. There we go. Get back up here. Well, at least I saved two, I suppose. That's better than what I normally do. I could build an airfield just to show what it builds, but the very first mission, the very first Soviet mission involves airfields, and it's physically impossible to fail the very first Soviet mission. As opposed to the very first Allied mission, which is very possible to fail immediately. Which is quite fun. Capital fun. Capital F-U-N. Capital F-U, primarily, but whatever works. Generally speaking, I should probably build a couple of V2s here at this point. I'll build one more tank. And we'll just finish off the rest of that. Not making a lot of money. That's why we're not making a lot of money, because you idiots don't know how to harvest ore, apparently. They finish this spot over here, they're like, well, we're done. Let's just ignore all of this. In fact, that's a weird formation. This is, what is over here? I'm curious if there's actually, like, infinite ore in this mission, or if it's limited. Hello? Why would I shoot you? Probably pisses off the AI. This is my ore. I claim it. Bring you over here. In case there's some defensive structures we need to deal with over here. No, we're gonna gather ore. Is there anything over here? It's a bridge. I know that much. And for some reason, a bunch of my tanks are tracking something. Must be a harvester over here. Yep. Be careful with your explosive devices, please. Or they are explosive after all. And of course, there's a V2 launcher over there. Whoa. Accidentally hit the tab key. Not the tab key, the uh, Windows key. Ah, oh, there is defenses over here. Of course there are. You too. Please figure out a manner in which to make it back to base for me. Back to you, may as well go back to base as well. Please shoot him. That bridge is going to explode. Probably very shortly here. Yep, bridge exploded. Aha, harvester. Now what will you do, for you cannot traverse the bridge? This is like a gigantic waste of vehicles, by the way, if you haven't actually figured that out yet. Can you hit that? By golly, you can. Need to send our stuff over here, because they're doing some evasive maneuvers around my dudes trying to attack my artillery here. Well, they found my artillery, so never mind. It is irrelevant. You're still repairing, it takes a billion hours. You're still shooting that infantry, because it takes a billion hours. Oh, I said, I told you to repair. Hello? Shoot me! There you go. 
Unit I believe if you tell a bunch of vehicles to repair in a row, they'll all sort themselves out eventually. Obviously, you tell one vehicle to repair and then another one, they get all sorts of confused, but... I think they sort themselves out. Cancel all that, because these guys need to repair. Primarily this guy, who is almost dead. As my units are wont to be, I suppose. Oh, you're doing it wrong. You get on there, anyone else need repairs? You do. They always get off of the repair pad to the south. I think directly south, so... Generally recommend you don't park tanks directly south of the thing in which they are using to repair. I also do generally recommend you don't do the mission in this manner, but this is the way I'm doing the mission, so... Deal with it, I suppose. Really, I, I probably should have blown that up with my artillery when I did that initial rush in there, but I didn't, so... Here we go. I got however many tanks this is, plus that many V2 rockets. Let's go. Make your way over there somehow for me. Because there's only one path through here, they'll figure it out eventually. Oh my lord, look at the number of V2s that just came out of there. Keep moving. Don't get blown up by your own V2s. It is a distinct possibility. There we go. Blow that up for me. You guys blow that up for me. Oh lord, you guys blow that up for me as it turns out. Look at the infantry over here. That was some serious friendly fire, but it was worth it. All right, you guys need to flee from the carnage that is currently occurring over here. You two also probably need to flee. Oh, well, one of them, I think, just died, so never mind. You guys sort your stuff out, you fix your things, you guys come down here to reinforce. Alright. I don't know why there was about 8 billion infantry over there, but apparently the AI has decided to build 8 billion infantry, so this is at least good to know. At least they don't have 8 billion infantry anymore. They probably still have some infantry, though. A bunch of silos. Can you stop with the V2 rockets, please? Good lord. Oh, hello. Found the V2 rocket. And a bunch of other stuff that's down there for some reason. You're getting shot by our own V2s. Um, attack move's gonna make you shoot those, which is generally actually not what I want you to do, but whatever. Here, shoot that. It's a bigger priority. Oh, why the AI has so many units over here? Good lord. How to efficiently use your units, brought to you by me. Dude inefficiently using his units. The tank over there. I feel like we should do something about before he does this. Oh, there's another tank over there. This is good to know. Oh. Hello. Shoot my tanks. They're shooting at you, you know? Alright, well, you guys are still alive, so do that thing you do with the missiles, please. I believe V2s do more damage per fire, per shot, than yes. artillery. They also shoot, like, drastically low, slower, though. Which makes them better against buildings, because they just alpha damage stuff down all the time. Very fun. Nuking things and whatnot. I may as well just tell you to go over here. Unit ready. So you're all done shooting the missiles. Is there any more tanks over here? Apparently there is. Oh, what's up with the tanks over here? Might lose this guy. Nope. Or we might lose him anyway, because I'm going to continue scouting over here with a bunch of nearly dead tanks for some reason. And of course, not running over infantry, as you are wont to do. Hello. I really want to know where the, why there were like 600 infantry over there, though. You shoot that. Thank you. 
Alright, this was an unnecessarily long mission, considering I really should have completed it a long time ago. A long time ago, not of go. A long time of go. Quick, everyone! Attempt to shoot the dog, for it is the most fearsome opponent and cannot be defeated. This is why you don't make one tile, one square wide um, entrances to your base, because stuff like this happens. And it makes it take like a billion years to get through here. I mean, it'd, it'd be a lot faster just to shoot the stupid walls down. Because otherwise, it's going to. It's a single wide means it's going to take a billion hours to actually get the AI to path through there. No, not that. Shoot that. Shoot the wall, not the ground next to the wall. Again, this is. This is what I sh what should have happened the first time, basically, is I should have come in with about this many units, but I lost all my units because I'm an idiot. Either way, we won, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Tough guy, I am not. I'll tell you that much. This should be all the buildings. There's the freaking construction yard, finally. This is quite the expansive base for no reason, considering it only had one war factory and one barracks. And technically it had this secondary base up here, but it had its own construction yard. We did it! Okay. Very inefficiently, but we did it anyway! Also, I forgot to read this again, so I'll read it now. Rescue Tanya! That's the whole mission. Your spy can move past any enemy unit except dogs without being detected. Direct him into the weapons factory located in a, at a nearby Soviet base. Take out the air defenses. I don't think I read this anyway. Then destroy all remaining Soviet buildings and units. Yay! So that is all of the allied missions. There's not very many currently available, as mentioned previously. There are, however, a lot of Soviet missions. So I hope you like the Soviets, because apparently we're going to be playing them a lot. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time for that whole shebang.